Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. There is a unique real number one, which satisfies the property one times x equals x for all real numbers x. Now, in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description of the video below. Now, in proving this theorem, here are the axioms that we're going to be using. Axiom 1 is just the commutative law. Axiom 6 tells us that there exists a real number 1 that is distinct from 0 and satisfies the property 1 times x equals x for all real numbers x. Now, the point of this theorem is that we already know that 1 is a real number that satisfies this property. We want to prove that 1 is the only real number that satisfies this property. So, to start of the proof, Let's first note by axiom 6 that 1 is a real number that satisfies this property. And we want to prove that 1 is the only real number with this property. How do we prove that? Well, let's suppose we have another real number that satisfies this property. I'll call that number 1 prime. So let's suppose also that 1 prime is a real number such that 1 prime times x equals x for all real numbers x. And so to prove uniqueness, we want to show that 1 is equal to 1 prime. Now to start, we know that this statement works for every real number. So in particular, it must work for the real number 1. So taking x to be 1, we have that 1 prime times 1 is equal to 1. Similarly, we know that this statement works for every real number. So in particular, it must work for the real number 1 prime. So taking x to be 1 prime, we have that 1 times 1 prime is equal to 1 prime. And then by axiom 1, we know that 1 prime times 1 is equal to 1 times 1 prime. And then putting this together, we see that 1 is equal to 1 prime times 1, which is equal to 1 times 1 prime, which is equal to 1 prime. And so through this chain of equalities, we see that 1 is equal to 1 prime. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. And so this tells us that 1 is the only real number that satisfies this property. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.